how are you able to understand what is real? Like, I think a lot of us, whether we grew up in a religious family, in a cult, in a family with mental illness, what I hear happen is, is a feeling of, I can't trust my intuition. I don't know what's real. So how were you able to regain that trust of your intuition? It took a decade. It took a decade of my own um, just not believing in love, believing in hope, believing in anything, not trusting anyone. So uh, isolation, drug addiction, uh, suicide attempt, all of that because of the confusion. And back then, like no one, again, was talking about mental health, mental illness, and so the you're just alone by yourself. So then, I don't know, it was after a decade of darkness, finding out like when you talk about like your dharma and your purpose, I literally after a three-day bender was like, this is not my purpose. <laughs> there is something like deep down and like I am not meant here for this. I'm not meant to be here on this earth to feel this pain, to be this trauma. Like we need to change this. And that's when I went back to like, when was I my happiest? And it was when I was moving my body. I went through every self-help book, therapy, everything to heal myself, move my body, got into the water. We were talking about like, the pitta needs water. Oh, I started surfing. <laughs> that was a huge healing process. But yeah, just going through the healing process and be like, being like, you are not going to be your mother because that was my fear because my mother's dad was uh, diagnosed with schizophrenia as well and committed suicide when my mom was 18. And um, I just thought I was going to be like that. But it skipped a generation 